Okay, good morning. Uh, I've got my copy of Home Designer Pro 2019 open. I created a simple model for this demonstration. And uh, a fella on Home Talk, show you the post, was asking about uh, see, how can I make a, a two web component that start at the intersection of a king post, he's got a king post drawn there, and the bottom chord diagonally extend to the top chords at their mid span. Thank you. And Eric up there in Canada responded on how he'd done it in the past with uh, using lumber, which is a little limiting. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. But I just thought of another method. I thought I'd do a demonstration of it. I have never used this because in Chief Architect Premier, I don't need to. But this is a, a pretty exciting that this tool exists. It's under Cabinet Tools. It's just a custom backslash. Uh, click on that tool and left click and drag a backslash. Now, obviously, uh, it's just it's pretty thin in its native state, and it's got tile on it by default, but I'm going to just reshape this and using the, auto, the temporary dimensions or automatic dimensions, I'll make it six inches wide. And now with that six inch, I'm going to line it up on the apex of the roof. Okay, and I'm going to open the dialog box here, go and edit the materials layer. I'm going to make it six inches thick. And we'll change the material to a plan material, just an innocuous kind of a white. Yeah. Now, I haven't explored how intricate you can get with this, like you can uh, with polybond solids that you make in cheap architect. We'll look at that in 3D. See, it looks fine. You put wood on it if you want it. Let's try this. I'm going to use the break line tool. Oh yeah, this is going to work pretty good, I think. Take that over to the edge. I don't want it that low. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's better. And then I want, I'm going to click on the top of that so I can re, re, reshape it to, uh, well, I'm not getting, my cursor is not picking up that dimension anymore. So I'm going to, I'm just going to, that's close enough. Six and six, a sixteenth of an inch. Again, it's still selected, break line tool. Line my cursor up there on the other side, break it. Have it just disappear into the roof. <coughs> and if you wanted to make this slightly easier, I don't see why you couldn't just draw CAD lines at a 45 degree angle, I believe that's 45. Let's check it. Um, yeah, 45, see? And I'm gonna take cab line and copy it. It doesn't have to do it this way. I'm just, just those are now parallel lines. And I can uh, set the distance between them at six inches. Whoops, <laughs> that didn't work exactly like I planned. Let's try this. It's minus six. Let's see if that works. Okay, that worked. So now I've got, I can lay this leg here out. I was thinking I might be able to make this, you could make this out of multiple objects or like I'm doing, like I'm showing here. I'm going to put two breaks there, grab this corner. Whoops. I told you I'm doing this for, okay, extemporaneously for the first time. Okay, that's all right. Break it here. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'll go back to the 3D camera. That looks perfectly good, and you can move it in plan, this in plan view, I'm pretty sure. I don't see it. It may be because the layer is turned off. Let's take a look at the layer display options. 
And I, I guess it'd be under cabinet custom backsplash. I told you I never used Well, I see it turned on there. But I don't see it in plan view. You know, the display is checked. Well, I'd rather be able to move that in away from the edge of the house. But I don't see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was in the attic level. I'm going to use the arrow keys. Okay, it's not responding to arrow keys. I'm going to move it away. Just out to the edge of the. Okay, it was too far, wasn't it? Let's make it uh, 10 inches. Okay, that's kind of what I had in mind. I'll go back to the elevation view. I'm going to take these two lines and use transform replicate and reflect them horizontally. So they're still 45. They're just going the other direction. Line those up. And I suppose you could even wrap it around this way. I don't know. You want to do that? It depends on how fancy you wanted to make it. I, uh, I'll try something in a minute. Need to zoom in. Oh yeah. Okay. Need to turn on show line. Turn off show line weight. That's making all the lines all too fat. I'm using a control key to get away from angle snaps. Okay, I think that's fairly nice looking. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna really go for broke here and try to wrap it the, the edges around. Okay, I got a break here, a break here. I'm gonna make one more break in between. Grab that and go up. Uh, about there. Custom backsplash overlaps and crosses. I mean, okay. It, it well may not. I just thought I'd try this. Put a break here. Of course, you're going to keep getting that error. Okay, it's already looking a little wonky. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to back out of that. That's not working very well. What I think I will do is I'll go over and. Uh, and let's just draw another one. You could also draw a soffit, I suppose. I'm gonna put a soffit there. This are fine. I thought I'd chase this. Now, this, in order to slant a soffit, you need to turn it in the direction you want to, to slant. I'm gonna take this soffit and make it uh, the same dimensions. Make it six. six and six initially okay so it matches these other objects I made I'm gonna stick it out over here I'm gonna stick it over here and then extend it up to about the center there it is there now I'm gonna open the dialog box and go over here to slope soffit place under roof yeah it worked reasonably well and take the eyedropper and put the same material on it. Okay, when you click on it, although I clicked on it up here, it selects down here, so I have to be a, a cognizant of that. I'm going to try to line that up a little bit better. Yeah, we get a little bit of a re reveal there. Now I'm going to take that. And uh, copy paste in place, transform replicate, reflect. Yeah, well, this is working out. I, and this is a way to get around the limitation of the uh, 
custom soffit tool, I mean custom uh, backsplash tool, crossing itself. It doesn't like to do that. It's just the way it's pre-programmed to work. Okay, that looks fairly decent. Let's look at it in 3D. Yeah. But it, now I just need to line these objects up. I'm going to take this soffit and this soffit, shift select them, and then drag it out until they match the custom backsplash. And uh, that didn't take very long, and it's not. And it's you can do it with the tools that ship with uh, Home Designer Pro, and that's the plus. I uh, hope this helps some people get some projects done. And thanks for watching. Via Condios.